Are you fucking serious? Okay, yeah, that was a pretty bad and a little bit of an immature way to start out, but come on! Another show, another highly regarded piece of entertainment in current times, cancelled. Well, not really cancelled, but the end of the show is is coming very soon. Like, this is the end run for it, with Transformers Prime now of all victims. It's going to end with the new season, and it will be the last. It, of course, has to do with promoting another Michael Bay movie, which I don't really understand how or why they've come to this decision. Why couldn't they just make another season, but advertise, use it as a marketing campaign to get attention for the movie? Marvel likes to do this with some of their video games and place characters that are going to be featured in their live-action films. I, I, this is the kind of thing that, I don't know, if I were Neo GameSpark, I'd like to dive into a 30-minute discussion over. Yeah. Uh, and, and believe me, I've been keeping an eye on Young Justice. Uh, Young Justice, I'm sorry. Not so much Green Lantern, the animated series, but, you know, power to all the people who did like that show. And, and yeah, uh, it appears that DC cartoons are not the only victim to this sudden gasp of cancellation. Well, I mean, that's pretty much what it is. You're closing the book on something that's been around for a while and did a damn good job. Although the only thing I disliked about Transformers Prime was that it started off with seemingly original plots, something to fit a contemporary basis. Like the, it's it was, it feels very real. Like it tries not to be live action, but at the same time, it's definitely a step up. Like I like the CGI's. Honestly, it's kind of it's not up there with Beast Wars to me, but it's something. It's interesting to take notice of. I mean, the Autobots are not really annoying. Uh, the humans are okay. In fact, episodes have been dedicated to not even showing them, where it's purely about the Transformers. So someone up there is listening to all the people who complain about the, that, I, even though I'll call it a nitpick. But, it, uh, but hey, I won't argue. It's a good show. It's a good production. Although I wish they had more bots. I feel like there are far and few when it comes to Autobots, Decepticons are all over the place. Whether they're recolored or they actually have different personalities. Ah. Okay, so what do we do now? And Oh yes, it's going to be replaced with another series. Oh, that's right, Marvel's doing it too. With Avengers Assemble. And, good stuff. Good stuff being taken down to replace it with uh, results uh, uh, that involve majorly involve skepticism. Ah, uh, I, I I can do nothing but sigh and feel very very bad because I did like this series. I enjoyed it where it was going, but hey, we, at least we got one more season. It's better than having it purely canceled. So I'll try to enjoy the ride for what it is. Ah, uh, the new season will involve Beast Hunters. That's what the title is called. I think this has to do with the Predacon or or uh. Uh, I forget the name. The Transformers bot, like the dinosaur bots, whatever they are. Uh, I'm a big Transformers fan, so pardon me for my lack of de uh, attention to detail with this franchise. I I've been there for Beast Wars. I've been there for even Machines. Been there for the Pointless Unicron trilogy. I've been watching episodes of Animated. Of course, I've seen all the Michael Bay stuff. Read, read some of the various tie-ins, even watch the G1 movie, alright? So before anyone tells me that I don't know what I'm talking about, trust me, I've been there. Uh, I'm still going to keep going, I'm still going to keep picking up the books, because Transformers is a very fun series. I just wish they could keep a consistent program going for, I don't know, maybe between five years to a decade. Just, just stick to one lore, J just stick to one series. It's like... A lot of times, writers like to exaggerate their pain of being written into a corner and always having to start from the beginning to start a series fresh in order to get something off the ground. Now we've got a multiversity of reboots. Yeah, that were, I don't know how that word came about. It just came out of nowhere to me. But yeah, there's too many reboots going on. And I'm not talking about all across the board with different companies and franchises. No. Transformers has, like, an endless amount of sub-series. This one even makes the most references to all the previous versions. I, I think Hasbro and whatever uh, co-founder of any production needs to start paying attention to is that they need to stop rebooting everything multiple times. They need to stop 
you know, they need to stop having too many reboots, too many worlds. Just stick to one, commit yourselves to it, keep it simple at first, and then go into crazy directions. I like what I've seen with the CGI Transformers. I Honestly, I don't really know if I can watch another animated style. It's been done to death more times than you can count your hands. Uh, and feet. It's just that with the CGI Transformers show, this one actually looks like it fits the content. Like, the visual art style fits the purpose of its contents. Uh. Okay, well, uh, I've said about all there is on my mind, but yeah. This is all to promote the fourth movie, supposedly. But actually, you know what? I'll, I'll read the quote if you guys actually haven't. I'm pretty sure I've got it screen captured as well. As for ha Hasbro's established stable of series, which drive the programming on its U.S. joint venture network, The Hub, the 13 episodes of Transformers Prime Beast Hunters, due to launch this year, represent the final chapter of the Transformers Prime story. It has grown to encompass 65 half-hour episodes that continue to roll out around the world. Ah, ah, I like that little reference to the saying, to Optimus's motto. Anyway, look for... A 75-minute Transformers Prime Beast Hunters movie to hit DVD shelves in the fourth quarter. But that's not the end of Transformers. Okay, I don't even know who this person is say uh, This Ar Arnson. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I can't find this guy's full name. But yeah, uh, whoever is the public relations... I guess whoever is communicating with the audience's name... He goes by the name Arneson says that a new iteration of the animated TV series is stated for delivery in late in late next year, which looks like it might be shaping up to be the uh, year of the Autobots. Right, because Transformers debuted in 1984. So, of course, they'll have something big. They'll have something special planned for the 30th anniversary. Yeah, it's been that long. Oh, and I'm sorry to have interrupted the reading of, my, of the quote to you, but here it is. Uh, in late 2014, which looks like it might be shaping up to be the year of the Autobots, given the audiences are already expecting the fourth live-action blockbuster in July, and from Michael Bay to ruin, nonetheless. <sighs> Glad I got a lot of that in, in one breath here. But this is commonplace nowadays. I don't even know why this is happening. We just... This reboot isn't even half a decade old. I mean, this Transformers Prime thing is a sort of reboot. They canceled animated, got rid of it, and then they just began over again with this. This one, to me, is great. It's better, in my opinion, at least. And I, and now I gotta watch it get end so soon. And with 13 episodes of a season? What? Alright, tell me what you guys think about this crap. I'm pretty sure I'll have had it uploaded. I'm going to go outside and, uh, stuff. I don't know, I'll probably just go to the park. Or the library, who knows. Enjoy yourselves reading this, uh, quote and all the articles, uh, talking about it already. I'll, I'll probably, I'll paste some links, definitely.